Well, it was great weather. It's continuing to be great weather this evening for spooky celebrations out there as we approach Halloween on Monday. And it was rather mild today. We got to a high of 68 degrees. And that compares to the normal of 61. We started out below normal this morning at 36. And that normal low is 41, but nowhere near the record low of 21. It could be that cold on this date. And right now, you can see it's dry downtown, but some clouds beginning to move overhead. Temperatures have dropped back now into the low 50s, and they will slowly drop into the 40s overnight. Not rapidly, because the clouds will kind of act as a blanket and hold that heat in. Humidity 57% with that dew point slowly creeping up now at 39 degrees. The clouds increasing overnight, mostly cloudy most of the day on Sunday. And then rain will arrive late in the afternoon and be widespread across the area tomorrow night. Much needed rain at that. And then the light rain will continue on and off behind the system on Halloween day. Then a big warm up for the beginning of the new month next week in November. 46 right now up at South Bend and 49 in Cleveland, 47 Parkersburg, 54 in uh, Dayton. You can see we're kind of a heat island there with some 40s out there where skies are generally clear. Highs tomorrow, though, will be back into the mid and upper 60s once again. 68 for a high in Dayton and in Springboro, but along with that will come the chance for some rain. A 50% or I should say 60% by tomorrow afternoon and evening and then 50% chance for your day on Monday. And then on Monday, temperatures will be just a tad cooler with the cloudy skies and light rain across the area. So heading out trick-or-treating on Monday, expect temperatures in the mid-60s when you head out in the early evening. There will be some light rain showers in your scare cast and in your forecast. For rainfall amounts, we need the rain, and it's going to be about a half inch in some areas, a little less off to the north and east, maybe a little more to the south and west, and we can use every drop of that rain. We're well below uh, what we should be in moderate drought across the area. Temperatures then will climb into the low 70s by the end of next work week before we see a slow decline in temperatures through the weekend into early parts of next week. It'll be dry though tonight as you head out on uh, Live Doppler 2 HD. Nothing being shown on the radar tonight across anywhere in the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes for that matter. But we do have a developing storm system. We have one area of clouds that has moved through the area. More widespread cloud cover coming with this low pressure area that's moving across the lower Mississippi River Valley. It'll replace the high pressure that kept us mostly clear today and bringing in the clouds overnight and into the day tomorrow and then pretty widespread rain by tomorrow evening. Then the rain will continue into Halloween but lighten up and become more scattered around the area. But if you're heading out on Halloween evening, you might want an umbrella to go along with the costume. 45 for tonight, partly cloudy skies. It'll be chilly but not quite as cold as it was last night. And then 68 for your high Tomorrow under mostly cloudy skies with those showers developing in the late afternoon. And in the seven day forecast, looks like we have uh, light rain continuing on Halloween day, then milder weather, that warming trend into the middle part of next week.